Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Donkey Rampa V3, also known as Killing Harmony. In the last one, we finished off Chapter 3, and we just got into Chapter 4. I don't know what we're about to see, but let's hit that continue button and continue where we left off. Because that last chapter was a pretty good one, honestly. So, what we got for us a few days ago. Hey there. Okay. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? Is that Ron Taro? Huh. I didn't think I'd hear from him anymore. Yes, it is. Huh. I get that this is probably pretty confusing seeing yourself like this. What do you mean? Guess I should start from the beginning. Um, That's the okay. Way it is. What's the way it is? Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. Just in this case of what? Will continue until there are only two people left. Oh, okay. The important part <laughs> of that rule is that. Is that what? Oh, there is one more thing. Uh. The truth is, this isn't your first. This isn't my first what? Anyone who finds out who you are is going to come for you. Uh huh. Trust no one. Okay. I'm so confused. You wanted this killing game, so you have to win, no matter what. Uh huh. No matter what. I'm so confused. Is he talking to me, or is he talking to someone else? Live and let the languid world live. Chapter four: Daily Life. Okay. What a weird way to start off a uh, chapter, but <laughs> okay. The morning after the third class trial. I guess it's the same with the last one. We had a meteor um, news thing for the fir for the third chapter. I didn't know what that was, but that was weird. After waking up from Monokuma's announcement, I headed to the dining hall as always. Hmm. But we're officially past the halfway mark of this game, that's for sure. We do know that. Uh, um... G good morning, everyone. Ah, uh, yeah. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why you're sighing. Oh yeah, I guess um, <laughs> Keo's gone, but I don't think anyone really misses him. He was cool though. I wouldn't. I'm, he's cool in his own way, and then he was weird in his uh, own way. The weird part's what we learned last about him. I don't need any more Sweet Home Alabama music for him. <laughs> There's a dark mood in the air of the dining hall today. Yes, there is. It seems because no one wants to talk. Because Angie and Tenko are dead. That's to be expected with what we've been through. A double kill. In a situation like this. His death was weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't see how we all could possibly stay enthusiastic. Yeah, he was boiled alive and then turned into a ghost and salted to death. <laughs> well, with two exceptions. Yo! What's wrong, bro? You're not gonna eat? <laughs> if you don't eat, then Gonto will eat your, you instead, Shuichi. Huh? Uh, he'll eat me. Don't you mean by breakfast? Me? Don't you mean my breakfast? You know. Speaking of Gonto, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Hmm. He's not here yet. Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. Ah. I have a feeling I know where he is. He's probably checking that stone because we had another trial. Because he did that the last two times. Let me guess. This atmosphere is heavy. Everyone's really taking a mental be beating. Hey! hey, you guys. You have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all still teenagers. Huh? Hey, Miko? Okay. Yeah, that's strange. She's the one that's always lazy. <laughs> your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're so quiet that you'll feel down. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Hey! I didn't mean you should sigh more louder. Weird. I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Hmm. Of course I'm depressed. That this is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. What is this? 200 million years. But, but being depressed won't help those who died at re rest in peace. Tenko and Angie too. If I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace either. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's 
So in order to make their deaths mental have meaning, I've decided to live my life with positivity. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, please take care of the new me. Come on, man. You're out of breath already. You're going to going full speed right out the gate. But it's just like Yimiko said. Those of us left need to look to the future and live for all the others' sake. Right. Yeah, let's cheer up and work hard. This game is just getting started. Huh? Uh, game. Oh? Huh? Isn't that what we were talking about? <laughs> Ugh. But now there's less people. I might be the next victim. Wow. That's very possible, honestly. Wow, so exciting. But I didn't def I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> well, I guess that's the same for everyone else. <laughs> He's around. You're still saying crap like it like that at, at a time like <laughs> I messed his voice up a lot. And also, I hit the red there. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to speak that loud. Uh just then the door to the dining hall burst open and I'm guessing it's going to Yep, I was right. Okay, he more than likely went to the slab. Everyone, this is serious. No. Oh no, the colossal high school girl is on the other side of the wall, isn't she? Oh. Okay, maybe not that serious. But Gonta went to courtyard before coming here. Could it be? Yep, I was right. The graffiti, graffiti had, was more added to it. Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Okay, what's there? This. Huh? This were world what okay so it can't be the the world huh yeah it really can't be the wor world uh, worst thing imaginable anymore i'm not sure what it's trying to spell the swords are maybe this world Wait. what the what about the world what does it mean is there some crazy story going on hmm I don't know what that means. It's definitely what I not what I thought it was gonna say. It's probably just graffiti, right? We should ignore it. No. No, I don't think that's a good idea. You wanna die? Um, no, please. Huh? I don't know why that's your catchphrase. What? All right, that's just a habit of hers. But my heart skips a, skips a beat every time. Because. No one here takes credit for it, right? But now there's more added to it. It must have some meaning. You know... So seriously, none of us here wrote it? If this is a prank, you better speak up. But... But Gonta stumbled upon onto the writing by coincidence, right? If it was a prank, then the, that they would have done it more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Oh, I see. It's like a titty that no one wants to fondle. Uh-huh. Well... It could just be Gonta writing it, since he was the first one to find. Gonta never do that. Yeah, I don't think Gonta did that. Gonta never make trouble for everyone. It's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? Hmm. Yeah, it is strange. I guess we'll find out near the end of the game. More and more gets added. Who's doing it? What does it mean? Hmm. That's definitely something important for the end of the game. Well, I don't really get it, but maybe it's some kind of clue. Well done. Thanks for reporting, Gona. Mm. Gona. Gonta. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Gonta just glad to help. Oh yeah. Gonta want to help. Even little. Tell Gonta if you need help with something okay. Okay. Okay, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Wait. No, you don't get to go get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Yeah, going to learn lesson after insect meet and greet. Yeah. Boring. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Monokuma. But long time no see. Oh ho! My ears are burning. Are you guys talking about me again? You, you must love me. Hmm. Are you getting dizzy from the fa face I make when I'm concentrate real hard? Your face is always the same, isn't it? Never mind that. You guys are probably eager for it, right? My prize, that is. Right, you guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? That's what I thought, so I brought a prize. It's probably more items to new areas. 
rise and si shine. Wait, that was only Monofane saying that that time. Rise and shine. Huh? What's an earth sign? It's the same, I want to know that too. Oh my, forgetting your catchphrase is like the kiss of death for a mascot, you know? Haha, <laughs> cause I'm a mascot, get it? That wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no punchline, or nothing. By the way, who's this pink stuffed pig, and why is she talking to me? Oof. There. <laughs> She's remember? <laughs> Did you remember? That's too solid wax. <laughs> Where am I? Where's Kaoru? Kaoru? Who the heck is Kaoru? Oh, okay. Okay, come on. Come on, Montaro. Are you gonna completely forget what you're supposed to do, or...? They're so adorably fascinating. I could watch them forever. I've had an about enough of them. Hey, you got it gives us some some loving too. I want my reward already. Why did you get so friendly with Monokuma Kokichi? Okay, okay, the prize this time is. What is the prizes? I do wonder. Two? We only get two. Oh, it's a third item. Okay. What's the last one? A card key? How is that a motive? What? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, motive. I'm actually confused. Did you say motive? Yep, this mysterious card key is the next motive. Your classic, the classic carrot st and stick reproach. No one can work as carrot or a stick like daddy. Screw your carrot and your stick. Give me whips and chains all the way. Uh-huh. I didn't know you went like that, Mew. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know any more about that. <laughs> a card key is a motive? What does that even mean? So the new area you can open with the card key, is that where the real motive is? <laughs> That's a secret. Why don't you use it in if you're so curious? Hmm. Oops, I accidentally brought up that menu. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening. <laughs> Yoink! I'll take that card key then. Kokichi used his live body to his advantage and took the key from Monokuma. No can do that. But that Monokuma's motive. What if another murder happened? Huh? I wouldn't mind that all at all, you know. Huh? What? Because Cause this is a killing game. We're the players, plain and simple. Why wouldn't the players want to play this game? Screw Quit screwing around. Just give it to us. No, way. no thanks. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. We're definitely seeing the motive this time. What? Hey, wait up! Wait up indeed. Kokichi ran out of the dining hall and pursued Kaido by Kaido. Running in the halls isn't normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys. Also, I forgot to mention, this is... but... I've hidden another flashback light somewhere. I wonder what memories you'll uncover next. Happy hunting! Happy hunting indeed. I do wonder what the last flashback light was going to give us. Oh, you remember the, this time, Montaro. I thought you guys were going to leave. Huh, what a so long farewell mean? You forgot that too? Come on, let's go. So long, farewell. Farewell. It's obviously different when only one of them say it. Wait. Oh, what should we do? Kai Kokichi and Kaido are gone. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with the card key motive. But aren't you curious about the flashback light too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kokichi as well. Well, that's a good idea. But let us look for Kokichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now we need your skills as a detective, Shuichi. Then... Right. In that case, let me hold on to that, and I'll look around again. Yeah. yeah. So Shuichi's grown up. He's become so reliable. 
Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Sorry. Oh, I see. So Shuichi gets the, that honor. Shuichi is so amazing. Gon't don't want to be useful to everyone, too. It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. Mm. <laughs> He's just so happy about that. Okay, go to hope. Time comes soon. No, you should hope that it doesn't come. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to use him as a meat shield. He's too nice. Okay, where to begin? I'll search for a place to use these mysterious items. Hmm. Well, on the fourth floor, um, there was a mysterious scroll. I do wonder if that's a place I should go. So, hmm. Let's see if fourth floor has anything for me. Just so we know. Okay, it does. Okay, so the scroll is one of them. So let's do that one first. Since I did wonder about that. Being scroll, I'm probably going to have to use the Octo Brush. Yep, I was right. Okay. I was thinking because you might want to draw something on the scroll. So fifth floor is a thing. Confirmed. Also, that was a weird way for that floor to come down. A staircase. It seems you can go upstairs from here. Hmm. hmm. The fifth floor, huh? How many floors does this school have? That is something I do wonder. How many floors is this school? And there's Monokuma's. Why is that Monokuma moving? With the wings? That's creepy. Yeah, they are moving. What the heck? Oh, both of them are moving. That's weird. I hope that's a mechanism and not an actual thing I have to worry about. Okay. This looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. Whose lab could this be? We Ultimate Cosplayer's Lab, so this is Sumuki's one. Cool. I did want to see more of these. Also, there's a black... A chalkboard back there. I was going to say blackboard, but that's not a blackboard. Oh okay. yeah. This is amazing. It's like an event venue. This must mean this is the Ultimate Cosplayer's Lab. Hmm. Okay. Is there any Monokumas in here? Just because I want to check for that. Workshop. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's see what Tsumugi has to say. Since there's going to be something maybe in here. Um, even with all these materials and tools, it fits by myself. I see. Cosplay is fun to do with others, right? Yeah. There's no point in doing it by yourself. Do you wanna try? Hey, Shuichi, do you want to give it a try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Please, Shuichi, that actually would be kind of fun. Me. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person and feel like you're part of a different world. Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? But, uh, but I'm investigating right now. Right. Then let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character. Whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. <laughs> However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Uh, okay. uh, right. I would like to do that. Is that an actual scene in this game? Let me talk to her again just to see if I can unlock it, if it is. Oop. I clicked on the bar. This looks like a bar. Um, is that a set too? Yeah. Well, what do you know? It's just like the real thing. Sumugi spoke cheerily and sat down at the table in front of the counter. Hey. hey Shuichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my sing signature cocktails if you like. Huh? A signature cocktail? Yeah. yeah, it seems like all the drinks here are top quality stuff. <laughs> I used to make them a lot at my part-time job, so don't worry. It'll be non-alcoholic, of course. Then... Ah, okay. I'll take one. Okay, cool. Hmm. Hello, Sumigi. How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Um, I don't know how you're making sure. it, so yeah, I guess sure. <laughs> like Shuichi wow, said. You're good at this, aren't you? Hmm. Yeah. Before I got sponsors for my cosplaying, I worked a bunch of jobs. Makes sense. I cosplaying is expensive. <laughs> I'm gonna say that now. 
Um, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what is this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. Oh, she's asking us to help her with her financial trouble. I think I know, know what she's trying. Uh, thank you, but... <laughs> you can get my money, Tsubuki. My mana coins. What kind of part-time job did she have, anyway? Mixing drinks like this. Hmm. That is strange. I thought you had to be, like... Like, 20... Oh, that's 21 in America. Maybe it's younger in Japan. Hmm. Unless this doesn't take place in Japan. Where is this, anyways? Hmm. With those thoughts swirling around my head, I drank the drink Sumuki handed me. Shuichi. Please come again. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you. I'll be back. Hmm. I do want to ask her about that, uh, scene, if there is a cosplay scene. It's plain to see. I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. I'll help you become your favorite character. Yes. Okay. Nope. Okay, can't do it right now, but I'll try again later. Workshop. I should probably check that out. A sewing machine and a work table. Perhaps a space to make and repair costumes. Huh. Cool. Seems pretty good. Okay, so that's all there is here. We're already done in this area. Pretty small area. I don't think... Uh, actually, there could be a, a thing happen in there, but... I don't know. Could just be a place to check out, just to have something nice to look at. Level 46 now. Oh, hey Maki, what you doing here? Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have these? Hmm. Uh, yeah. This place makes you feel like there is no god, but then there's this. Is that coincidence, or just Monokuma's sense of humor? Hmm. I didn't notice that this place looked like a chapel. Huh. I guess it is. So, whose room's this gonna be? This also looks like an ultimate lab, but whose lab is it? All right. I should check inside to be sure. Hmm. Ultimate It's my lab! Hey! Okay, cool. What is this? It's definitely your lab, dude. That's true. This looks like your research lab. Okay. It- is, right? Well, Let's see, what's in here? But I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A uh, bad feeling? What do you mean? Yeah, well, what is it, Maki? I knew it. How did you know that this lab was the ultimate detective's lab? That's true. I could tell just from looking. But this place doesn't match you at all. I think this lab is too good for someone like you. <laughs> uh-huh. You might be right. First I need to need a cloak and a deer stalker. <laughs> what? The clothes wouldn't even look good on you. I won't. It won't suit you at all. So don't even try it. Okay, Miss Sundari. <laughs> She's an obvious Sundari character. Uh, chemical shell. I guess I should look at this. Why do I have chemicals? Bottles light. I guess chemicals to find fingerprints. I was thinking chem like poisonous chemicals. Bottles line the shelves behind the glass door. Are these? It is poisons. Why do I have poisons? <laughs> okay. It looks like poison. I knew it. So you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way that can be normal medicine in the ultimate detective's lab. She opened the cabinet's glass door and peered inside. Hmm. Yeah, I know what some, some of these are. They're definitely poison. Then... In that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone accidentally. What's the point? Even if we got rid of them, Monokuma would just replace them. So it's useless doing that. I would- it would only be a temporary solution. A temporary solution. She wants to make sure no one will ever use them. By the way. Even so, I'm surprised they have so many in here. There's po poison for inst instantaneous death, as well as ones that can inflict various symptoms. Depending on how you use them, you can set up a different- up different gimmicks. But this doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab. More like a criminal lab. It's fine. It's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right. There's a fine line between criminals and detectives. Hmm. Okay. I guess. If you, you think of it like Batman, I guess. He does use the criminal's weapons and makeshifts them into 
weapons he can use to protect the good. There are a bunch of files lined up. It looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? I picked one up at random and flipped through it. Ah. It contained photographs of murder scenes and tricks the culprits used. What is this? I hurried hurriedly uh, looked through the other files and found that they were all similar. You don't know? It's a file containing all the tricks used for murders. That's... It appears so. Well... Did this incident really happen? No. I can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scene. And all these cases seem feasible. Hmm. Feasible, huh? Then this would make a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit murder. That's not good. Well, I doubt anyone that's stupid to use a file that's accessible to everyone. Maki picked up a file at random and started flipping through it. Huh. This file doesn't have any photographs. It's all just drawn illustrations, but... Huh? Illustrations. Maki began pulling files one after the other off the shelf. Okay. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations. Uh, um... But why? Are the old ones just fictional? The first few files have only illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? Um, well, it's probably before cameras existed. That's probably why. Anyway, I've investigated all the places that concerned me. Hmm. Okay. Everything here has to do with death. Well, the, that is your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Okay. Yeah, I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. A detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. Do you wanna die? Why are you so upset all of a sudden? Do you want to die? Uh, you'd kill me just for that. Right. Nah, I understand why Maki Roll would say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. <laughs> Hello, Kaido. I hope you're doing fine Kaito. now, because you were coughing up blood earlier in the last chapter right at the end. I hope he's gonna be fine. Hello, Kaido. With a face as gloomy as that, I can't believe you're my sidekick. Be more proud of yourself, Shuichi. Everything you've done up till now is amazing. Ah, uh, okay. uh, uh, thanks. That's true. That's why you should be more careful. Uh. Huh, what do you mean? You don't know? Because of how well you did in the class trials, future culprits will have their eyes on you. The next culprit might come after you. Huh? Come after me? Don't worry about it. Huh. You don't need to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. Leave it to me. I'm gonna protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect his sidekicks. I don't understand. What if it, I end up as a future culprit? Huh? Are you stupid? That's impossible. Ew. How can you believe in people so easily? I believe in you. Huh? Didn't I tell you before? I believe in people I want to believe in. And if they betray me, it just means I made a bad call believing in them. <laughs> of course, you're one of the people I want to believe in, Maki Roll. <laughs> By the way, why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Kokichi? Jeez. I lost track of him. I can't find that guy anywhere. Uh, um... Couldn't find him, but he still has the motive key card, right? Ah. Yeah, you should still have it. There's a chance that Kikuchi could have used the key card and gone somewhere. Yeah. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. Got it. It's the flashback light. Ah, uh. huh, you found one. Of I'm worried about Kokichi, but I think we should deal with this first. So let's all gather at, in the dining hall. What? Huh? I'm coming too. Ah, uh. uh, wait a minute. There are other places I want to check first. Can I meet up with you later? Uh. Oh yeah, then I'll go on ahead and t head to the dining hall. Well, you're not going to check this place. I believe in you. I'll let Shuichi handle it. You got this right, Shuichi. Uh, um, yeah, right. <laughs> then once you're done, come to the dining hall. Okay, see you, Kaido. You're my favorite character to voice, honestly. I like Kaido. You didn't even complain. You seriously are his sidekick now. I can't even argue with that. <laughs> we are sidekick, let's, that's a for sure, honestly. I don't mind being a sidekick, he's pretty cool. 
there's there's been some pretty cool characters in these games and he, he definitely is one of those cool characters he's fun why is everyone outside in the front that's strange hmm okay let's head out front and go confront the Kibo out and it looks like Kibo Miu and um, Himiko are out here so I guess that's who I'm going to see even less green than last time. There's still maintenance going on. It looks like it's almost done. Hey. So what's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Hmm. Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? At first, at the start, Monokuma said that there, there was supposed to be facilities for us. That's, all, That's obviously a lie. They- that plush bear is stuffed with flies and shit. Well, it's hard to imagine that they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. I also think Monokuma was lying. He is an exceptionally deceitful being. Uh, um, being? Well, he is- he's a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic. Shuichi, have you been a robophobe this whole time? No. Uh, no, that's not what I mean. And everyone's gone. But when we- when will we learn what this Ultimate Academy really is? Why does it exist? Is it really just a place for us to have the killing game? Mm, I think it's more than that. Where do I go? I don't know where else to go. Oh. Mystery people at... Over there near the... Ike uh, Aikido lab. So, so let's go check what's going on there. Oh, hey Gonta. Am I supposed to meet up with you here? Mmm, I'm gonna go check by Miu's lab, maybe. Mmm... These, maybe? Where would I put a stone? I don't remember anywhere that I needed to put one. I don't think it's gonna be a Miu's lab. Mm, I'm gonna check inside the, um, the actual trial ground area. After the third class trial, we lost seven friends. Only nine of us are left. But we've all taken Himiko and Tenko's wish to heart. We're trying to live on. Maki also decided to join us, help us to survive. Perhaps it's only a little bit, but we're closer to the end. Hmm. Nope. Where would I put this? There's Himiko. Huh. Strange. Do I really need to be over here? Let me look through all my uh, areas I need to check. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta be out here. For sure. Okay, so I gotta figure out where the stone goes. Uh, maybe Himiko knows. You got anything, Himiko? She's staring at Tenko's lab. I should leave her alone. Hey, when is it, Chuichi? Don't stare at me so much. Or I'll become even more beautiful. Uh, I see. Is she embarrassed about something she said herself? You. Did it look like I was blushing? Huh? What? You're right. Before, no one could tell that I was blushing, right? Uh, that's right. I remember. Yeah, she... She didn't show any emotion. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Oh, uh, really? Hmm, yeah, no one could tell. Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No, I was blushing. What? From your own compliment? <laughs> yep. Okay. Huh. Yeah, you look like a little embarrassed just now. <laughs> hmm, okay. Then I'll keep at it. Himiko is really trying to change. Hmm. So... In the second game, Hiyoko was trying to change, and I, I never saw it. But we're actually getting to see a character change when we were told they were changing, but we never actually saw a change. So I like this. I like how Himiko's showing an obvious change in her character. Hey! hey! Show yourself! Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonta. Hmm. Gonta, are you looking for Kokichi? Um... No, not Kokichi. Go to see tiny bug. No mistake this time. 
It definitely fly by Gota's eyes. Hey bugs! Hey bug! Come out again. Gota just wanna talk. Tiny bugs again. Gota's been talking about them for a while. I'm sure he's interested as the ultimate entomologist. But the memory of the insect meet and greet uh, is still raw. <laughs> I wonder what the tiny bugs are that he's seeing. Mosquitoes, maybe? That'd be a pretty nasty bug to worry about. <laughs> it sure is quieter now that no one is yapping a two of this and a two of that anymore. I knew, knew that fucking midget was running a goddamn cult. I mean, if there really was a god, he's obviously make me the gorgeous girl genius his chosen one. That kooky fucking bitch. Huh. Okay, see you later, Mew. So, I guess Kibo knows where to put this. We haven't come across Kokichi at all. I wonder where he could have gone. If he's not in the courtyard, is he inside somewhere? Yeah, probably right. But apparently Kokichi is quite good at hide-and-seek. If he's serious about hiding from us, hiding him is, may prove to be quite troublesome. Troublesome. What is it? Why do you look surprised? Uh, 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 it's nothing. How about this? Please tell me. You don't need to hesitate. After all, we're friends. Then... Well, I just thought perhaps a robot couldn't bind a human. That's robophobic. Sh Shuichi, you're not even trying to hide your robophobia anymore. What? Really? <gasps> anyway, Shuichi. That black object over there looks suspicious, doesn't it? The one with the red border. Hmm? What are you talking about? What? Oh, this? Oh, I didn't even notice this. Okay, here you go. Put the stone in here. Put my dragon stone from Fire Emblem into the, there and figure out how to what this does. This looks more magic than Himiko's magic uh, area. That's an ob obvious ro uh, room. I know exactly who that's going to be. That has to be the ultimate uh, robot <laughs> lab. The buildings just combined. What did you do to my lab? It's gonna gonna going in super deep. <laughs> uh huh. I think I think they're they got their labs combined. It makes sense. The ultimate inventor and the ultimate ro robot being mixed together as the same character um like not same character but like as friends they they were they're obviously good friend characters at this point i'm positive this strange building is an ultimate lab from the machines in the sci-fi feel i deduce this is kibo's lab right. i'll check inside it's definitely kibo's lab okay ultimate robot lab and that is super bright <laughs> It looks like a maintenance room for a robot. There are machine parts everywhere. This is definitely Kibo's lab. Hmm, cool little lab. So we got to see three ultimate labs this time. That's cool. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can click anything here. Yeah, I can't. So I can only talk to them in here. Do I need to, okay, yeah, I need to talk to them. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Whose lab is this? Huh? huh? It's yours. No way. I don't want this. I don't like this sort of sci-fi technology. Can we leave now? Is that all right? But I imagine that a lot of things in here would really help you out. You should take a look. No, I don't want to be assisted by sci-fi te technology. We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kibo? That's right. Anyway, I would prefer a more Japanese theme, since I like that food the most. Even though I can only stare at it. So, how could you prefer the food? <laughs> at the very least, I'd like some kimonos in my lab, and a porch with white wind chimes. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. It doesn't seem like Kibo is going to use this lab. Well, he's free to do as he pleases. Nothing I can do about that. Hmm. Cool lab. I guess Kokichi's gonna take this later, I guess, at that point. Alright, I've finished investigating all the, all the items this time. Kaido should be waiting in the dining hall. 
I should gather everyone there. Okay, yeah, we can definitely get out of here. I spoke with everyone and told them to gather at the dining hall. After a time, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Hmm. I do wonder where that key card goes. Have we seen an area for a key card at all? I don't think I have, honestly. Alright, right, looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. Oh, what about Kokichi? Forget about him. It's his fault for messing around like that. I guess he must be a real pro at hide and seek. With my magic. Ma I magically looked all over the school, but he was nowhere to be found. M magically? No one can find him, huh? Hmm, that is strange. He might have used his motives, the motive's key card to enter a place we're unaware of. Do you think that's where the real motive is being kept? Either way, it's worrisome. Huh. Next time I see him, I'm just gonna catch him and ask. Anyway, let's try out this flashback light. But I'm still uneasy about these flashback lights. Are they really okay for us? No. Well, if we don't use them, our memories will never come back, you know. So, we've got no choice but to use it. The memory we'll get from this will, is our only clue. Seriously? I agree with fish sticks over here. What did you say? Who, who are you calling a chunk of breaded fish? <laughs> For someone who looks like a canned tuna, you make some pretty good comebacks. Hey, Kokichi. So, I'm guessing you've already been there? Who are you calling a lot of shredded fish? What was that? W wait, Kokichi? Hmm. I knew you'd find us here, but only because it's you. You got me! Thanks for co the compliment. So, why are my merry friends gathered here? Is that alright? First of- first things first, what did you do with that keycard? Ah. Oh, so you're worried about that. Well, relax. Unfortunately, I couldn't use the keycard. Huh? You couldn't use it. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea where to use it, so I just gave up instead. But you don't seem too disappointed about not being able to use it. I'm so disappointed, damn it. I wanted to use that keycard. I smell another fucking lie. Cut it out. Whatever, talking to him is a waste of time. You know... We got more important things to do. Ah. Oh, hey, the flashback light. Let me see that. Kaido doesn't have the balls to turn the switch on. Of course I do! Edged on by Kokichi, Kaido thumbed the switch hard. He definitely turned it on, so what's it gonna happen? And once again, the world warped. Okay. What we see in Shuichi? I wonder what this is gonna be. I hope it's about the Rantaro thing. I do want to know more about that. The scenes that flew by inside my consciousness, and what it all means. At, all at once, I I remembered. Residents- oh, we're seeing the Okay. Strange. Ah, oh, the meteorites. What happened with the meteorites? Huh. Okay, meteorites. I remember TV news and the internet talking nonstop about those meteorites. There was a bunch of damage where I lived. People said it was only a matter of time. Okay. A researcher said that two s similar meteorite impacts happened millions of years ago. All living organisms on Earth were annihilated. So... There were also a bunch of weird groups that started to show up all in the streets. Hmm. As the meteorites got worse, more people started saying it was the end of the world. Okay. Going to hear that too. Unless someone does something, world will end. Hmm. Okay. Those were always those people were always handing out flyers on the street corners. What were they handing out? I saw flyers all over the city too. They said the world is going to end. Damnation. Huh. Mankind deserves damnation. I remember seeing those posters, but what about it? Hold on. And the meteorites! What ended up happening with those meteorites? That's... We haven't seen any since we got here. Maybe they died down? What? 
Then what happened to the plant? That plan, the one that to save the world from the meteorites. Oh right, I just remembered that. It's was the called the Gopher Project, right? It was the plan that all countries of the world came up to save humanity. But... I remember that too, but the Gopher Project? Didn't it fail? What? Hmm. Is that true? That's true. That's what I heard too, but I can't remember why. What's that mean? So, what, we can't remember anything past that again. Uh, okay. I can't either. I don't remember anything about the gopher. <laughs> Mankind deserves dam damnation? Huh? Mew. <laughs> Mankind deserves damnation? Fuck that! We've already been damned here. Being stuck here with you losers is the worst hell there is. You. The the you losers part was uh, wasn't un, wasn't necessary. <laughs> Shut up! I'm tired of this. Let's let us out of here. Let us out. Come on. Don't leave us in here. Pull us out. Seems like... She seems really upset. What happened? Miu, calm down. It's okay. Gonto will protect you. In the end, the flashback light didn't help us. It didn't connect to the other memories. That's strange, honestly. The ultimate hunt, that was after us. Yeah, and the death, the joint funeral. Hmm, the meteorites, the cult organization, the gopher project. How are they all connected? How do they relate to the ultimate academy? And what happened with all those meteorites? Did they just stop? Hmm. Shuichi. It'll be okay, Shuichi. Just a little more. Huh? huh? We probably need one more. Everything will start to connect after we remember one more thing. One more thing. What is Kokichi? But, but I don't think it'd be surprised by the outcome of this situation. Like if we were actually all dead and this was the afterlife. Huh? The afterlife. Why you quit s saying stupid crap like that. Uh... It's not stupid. If the meteorites can happen. Then anything can happen, else can happen too. Because... Come on, you're an astronaut, aren't you? Space is full of mysteries that we can't even fathom. Well, you know. That's why if the meteorites really did fall on us, anything could have happened. A mysterious virus could have spread, or some weird technology, <laughs> or even an unknown substance brought to Earth that could have bent time and space. Yeah. That's like science fiction. I thought our theme was magic. That's just your your theme, Himiko. Seriously? Come huh. on. That's just stupid. It's like the setting for some third-rate anime or game. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm making this up? But e then, how would you even explain the flashback lights, Exitials, and even Monokuma? We may be used to it now, but that kind of stuff goes against common sense, you know. <laughs> Which means I wouldn't be too far-fetched. If any things I mentioned actually happened. Shut up. Shut up! First of all, I'm the only one here who gets to talk about space. My bad. Oh, you're right. Sorry, my bad. What did uh, I do? What? Whatever. Just hurry up it so I can get out of here. Wait. Stop. You shouldn't think like that about getting out of here. <sighs> Everyone seems very tired. We should probably disperse for the time being. <laughs> Oh, you finally learned to read the air. Nice job, robot. I'll commit that to my memory. I'm learning every day. Hey. Oh, before we go, go to put manhole back cover how it was. Cause going to gentlemen. If we want to challenge go under underground again, this time going to definitely. So dumb. Aha, uh -huh, no one's dumb enough to challenge that dump again. Shut up. Don't look down on hard work. Yeah. Himiko, you've really changed. It's what I'd like to say, but working hard at escaping from there is pointless. Like I thought. Well, no matter how much you've changed, of course you think like that. Hmm. We well, can't keep going like this. We need to find a way out. I need to solve all these mysteries. Hmm. After our conversation, we return to our rooms. Hmm. I do wonder what we need to do in order to get out of here. The, the idea of only it's two no people use. surviving is a little scary. Because 
It's either Maki or Kaido if I want my favorite characters to get out. Or Kokichi. Me and Kokichi could be the final too, but that would be scary, honestly. Having to worry about that. Damn it, I don't understand. What is going on here? But I can't give up. I need to keep my promise to Kaide. I need to find the truth. What's happening to us? Why we're forced to play this killing game? Anyway, I've still got t some time today. I can't stay still, not now. Free time start. Okay. And with that, I think we'll be ending this one. So, as always, keep being spooky. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Hey guys and girls, I just want to say thank you for watching today's video. If you liked everything you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you want to see more, thank you all for watching and peace out.